Okay, so now we're looking at our financing and investing activities, and I'll show you some shortcuts. If you look at, let's look at land as my first one. The difference between my land at the start of my year and the end of my year is 710,000. So I can take that as that we've purchased land, because it doesn't tell me anything different in my additional information. So I can take that as being what we're looking for. Next one I'll look at is my machinery. So my machinery's gone from 964 to 624, and we got told down here that we sold 340,000 worth of um, machinery. So I got a $340,000 movement here. And the, the uh, cost of my selling my machinery was 130, or the depreciation in relation to my machine was 139,000. So let's just have a, I'll do this one step here because we'll take into consideration this gain on the sale. So if I had machinery costs of 340,000 and accumulated depreciation on that machinery of 139,500, I get what's called a written down value of uh, 200, 500. Now, it's told me here that I've got a gain on the sale of my machinery of 63,180. So therefore my proceeds of sale is 263,680. And that's a figure that I'm going to take into my cash flow statement. So I can tick off that my machinery has been taken care of. Next one I'm going to look at is down my list is my dividends payable. My dividends payable. So that's an investing activity. Dividends payable. I started with an opening balance of zero and a closing balance of 115. Now we've declared a dividend of 95,000 and another dividend of 115. And that's declare 95,000. And that's number one. And number two is 115. So that gives me 210. So that must mean I paid 95000 Now that tells me in my additional information that that's what I've done. So in my additional information, it says we declared and paid a cash dividend of 95000 So I can tick off my dividends. I can look at my bank loans. I've gone from 1305 in my bank loans to 1190. So I must have paid off my bank loan. It doesn't tell me I borrowed any more money. So it doesn't, there's no worries about cash flow in. There's a cash flow out here. And that comes in at uh, 115,000. So that's a figure that I'm gonna take into my cash flow statement as well. So that ticks off my bank loan. My share capital, I've gone from 100. 1.5 million to 1.8 million. So that must mean that I've got 300,000 here in share proceeds or sale, or sale of shares. So there's another figure I can take in. Now my reserves hasn't changed, so that's cool. Last thing I need to do is my retained earnings. Now, what goes through my retained earnings is, so I start my retained earnings with an opening balance of 183.
And I finish with a closing balance of 337 300. 377 330. Did it again. So my retained earnings. Now what increases my retained earnings is my profits. My profits are 404. So 404, 330. So how much does that total up to? 587, 330. Uh, so 587. Now the difference between this has to be dividends. And my dividends, which came in at um, dividends declared, so those two dividends is 210 because my dividends declared will reduce it. Now that's just to prove that I can tick off every account. So all my accounts now, even my accumulated depreciation, except my cash is ticked off. So now it says the requirement, prepare a fully classified cash flow statement using the direct method. Okay, let's go. So my cash flow statement. What's the first thing I do when I do a cash flow statement? Heading, Heading yeah. For Cash Trail Limited. For the year ending. What was the date? 30th of June, 2014. Alright, operating activities. So my operating activities What I'm looking for in my operating activity, so is my cash from customers. My proceeds of sales to customers. Now we work that out all the way back here. Three, four, three, five, four, three, five hundred. So that's my first one. Payments to suppliers. So my payments to suppliers came in at two three two three five hundred. Two three two three five hundred, and that's a cash outflow. So I'm going to bracket it. And then my operating expenses. So my operating expenses, oop, I forgot to highlight, and you can't see, there you go, is my cash paid, so 857500, 857500, and once again that's a cash outflow. And I think that takes care of my operating activities. Net cash flow. Anyone fast on a calculator for us? 362,500. And it's an inflow, is it a positive? Yep. Yep, cool. Now I'm going to do my uh, financing activities. So my financing activities. Now I need my uh, sheet back here. Because we had a couple of financing activities. We had our bank loan. We repaid our bank loan. Repayments of bank loan. Uh, 
Uh, we worked out to be 115. And that was an outfly. So I can tick that one off. I had uh, some share capital. I had 300 in share capital. And that's got to be proceeds. Because it increased. So money came in. 300,000. And then I had dividends paid as well. And my dividends paid, we worked out to be 95,000, which we got over here as well. So my dividends paid 95,000. And that's a cash outflow as well. So what have I got? I've got outflows 210, so I've got 90,000 is my net cash flow. Next will be my investing activities. Um, now we've got a purchase of land. Purchase of land, I can't add up. I'm not having a good day today. 610,000 is for my purchase of land, not 710,000. So, so purchase of land. Six one zero. So that'll take care of that one. My machinery. I'm looking for the proceeds on the sale of my machinery, and we worked that out to be two hundred and sixty-three thousand six hundred and eighty. Two hundred and sixty-three six eight zero. Was there any others? I don't think there was. We got that one, yep. We got our dividends, we got our two, yep, so I can tick that and that off, yep. Okay. So what have I got as a difference here now? Three twenty. Uh, six, four, four, is it four? 346. Net cash flow now. So hang on, so I've got a, that's an inflow. This is a outflow. So what have I got? I've got 346. Less, okay, so what I've got, I've got a 180 there, and I've got a 16, and then I've got 90. So 16 and 90 is 106. What did I say? 106, 180 is my net cash flow. Now, what was my uh, opening balance in my bank account? My opening balance in my bank account was 103,800. Oops, just slide that on. was 103,800. So therefore my closing balance would be the sum of these two, which makes 209980. And it is with relief that I can highlight this number here and say that I have balanced my cash flow because it matches up with that number over there. Mm -hmm. Purchase of land. Yeah. No, my purchase of land is six hundred and ten thousand. Difference between two ninety and nine hundred yeah. is six hundred and ten. You were at seven thousand. Yeah, I know, made a mistake. Yeah. So